Just look at that, Octonauts. Beautiful, isn't it? Aye. Looks like our kind of place, Captain. And best of all, this whole area is still unexplored. It's just out there waiting for us. Well, Quasi's going to be the first to explore the unexplored tonight. <sighs> it's a bit late to start exploring now, Quasi. We can wait till morning. Morning? A pirate never waits till morning. Not when there's an adventure to be had at night. You're not just a little bit scared of what might be out there? Scared? This pirate isn't afraid of anything. Not even sharks. Ha! I laugh at them. How about poisonous jellyfish? Not scary to me. What about vampire squids? Vampire squids? Ah, let me at them. Snakes? Nope. Bats? No. Scorpions? Yeah! No match for Quasi. Uh, how about spiders? Sp uh, spiders? Luckily, there are no spiders in the ocean, matey. Um, there aren't, are they, Captain? Don't worry. Spiders only live on land. Good. Well then, as I was saying, this pirate is afraid of nothing. All right, but be careful out there. Yo-ho, yo-ho! It's out to sea I go! Hmm. Fire squids and sharks. <laughs> I'm not scared of it. Oh, that's strange. Wait, who's there? <gasps> and what's this? If it's a sea plant, it's a funny looking one. <clears throat> Here's another one. Huh? Wait a minute. These aren't plants. They're more like legs. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight! Eight legs! Just like a... Sp Spider! Yow! <laughs> you, you're not gonna believe what I saw back there. It was creepy. It was crawly. It was... it was this big. No, it was bigger than that. It was huge! <sighs> what was it? A vast! It was a giant spider! And it made a strange noise like this. Thunk, thunk, thunk. But, 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 Captain, I thought you said there were no spiders under the sea. Captain, you've got to see this. There's something big out there, and it looks like it has eight legs. Let's sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, Quasi has discovered a mysterious creature in these unexplored waters. Now it's up to us to find out what it is. I'll get the good bait ready, Cap. And I'll stay here at the octopod to fix something with my tools. Quasi, those were my tools. Quasi, we need you to come along. You're the only one who knows what this creature looks like. What does it look like? The biggest spider I've ever laid me eyes on. A spider? In the ocean? I know, it doesn't seem likely. But whatever Quasi saw out there, we're going to find it. Peso, Shellington, into the guppe. Quasi, are you with us? Hi, Captain. I'm with you. Good. Tweak, open the octo hatch. Right away, Captain. See anything, crew? Nope, not yet. It is pretty dark out there. You know you're right, Captain. Why don't we just head back to the octopod and then... Whoa! Something's upset them. <gasps> what was that? That's it. That's the thunk I thunk I heard when I saw the spider run. I think. Activate microphone, Peso. Let's listen and see if we can figure out where that sound is coming from. Captain, it's coming from over there. We're getting closer. Closer. Whatever it is, Captain, it should be right here. Yeah! Yeah! This is the spider! 
Hello out there. We mean you no harm. We are the Octonauts. And one of us doesn't like spiders. Who are you? And why are you grabbing our guff? Oh, I'm sorry. I wanted to say hello. I am a spider. I knew it. I knew it was a spider. Amanda Kibbutz went for your lives. Crab. Huh? Excuse me. You're a what? A spider crab. A giant spider crab, to be exact. Of course. A giant spider crab. I should have known. So you're not a scary spider? Eh? Oh, no. I just look like one. I'm really a crab. <sighs> the largest crab in the entire ocean with many, many legs. Fascinating. Yes, I have eight legs and two pincer arms. Pincer arms? They help me to move around and grab things to eat. Ouch! What's wrong, Mr. Giant Spider Crab? Oh, there's something stuck to one of my legs. Oh, Ouch. no! It's a giant clam. Well, it's very heavy. And noisy. So that's what that scary thunk, thunk, thunk noise was. It looks painful. We're coming out right now to help you. Right, Quasi? Right, Captain. This clam is shut tight. I've seen this before. When clams get stepped on, they close up to protect themselves. It's nearly impossible to pry them open. Huh. This could take a while. Um, why do these things always happen when I'm in a hurry? What's the rush? I'm trying to get to a birthday party. Whose birthday is it? Mine! My children and grandchildren are having a great big party for me. I'm a hundred years old today. A hundred years old? Shiver me whiskers. Oh, yes. We spider crabs can live for years and years, long enough to meet many of our grandchildren. I just hope I get to see mine today. On our honour as octonauts, we'll get you unstuck, matey. <laughs> Captain, according to my medical manual, giant clams open and close using this muscle. Aye, try tickling it. Good idea. Goochie, goochie, goo. <laughs> That's it. Peso, you'll tickle the clam. Quasi and Shellington, you try to pull the clam open. I'll lift the crab's leg out. Tickle, pull and lift. Octonauts, let's do this. Excellent. Yes. Aye, aye. Tickle. Oh, goochie, 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 goochie. Pull. <laughs> and lift. <laughs> yes, it's working. Let's really get him laughing now. Tickle. <laughs> Pull. <laughs> lift. <laughs> ah, at last, I'm free. <laughs> Yay! Yay! We did it. Good work, Octonauts. Oh, how can I ever thank you? Say, would you like to come to my birthday party? The Octonauts never say no to a birthday party. <laughs> Shiver me whiskers. I've never seen so many kiddies and grandkiddies. Grandpa, you made it. Ah, yes. Thanks to my new Octonaut friends. I got here just in time. Happy birthday, Grandpa! Oh. <laughs> hey, what, what you doing? <laughs> now I know how that giant clam must have felt. <laughs> Guess Quasi's no longer scared of spiders. Spider crabs, you mean? <laughs> <laughs> This is a picture of me grandfather, Calico Jack. It's because of him that I chose the pirate line. Wow. 
He looks very cool and very piratey with that parrot on his shoulder. That was his parrot sidekick, Pete. Calico Jack and Pete were devoted to each other, as parrot and pirate are meant to be. What else do you know about him? Well, matey, there is a song about him. A song? Can you sing it? Aye, I can sing it. Most of it, anyway. <coughs> he hunted for treasure. He scratched for fleas. The bravest cat on the seven seas. Once he got going, he never turned back. And that's the truth about Calico Jack. He always had courage. He couldn't be beat. Arr! Arr? That's as much as I know. I've never been able to find out what the last line of the song is. You'll find out someday. I know it. I hope you're right, Peso. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <sighs> the frame's broken, but at least the picture's all right. What's that on the other side? Shiver me whiskers! There'd be a map hidden on the back of this picture. I reckon it'd be a treasure map. Pirates always hide their treasure maps. Aye, matey. I'm certain this map will lead us to the treasure of Parrot Island. <laughs> me grandfather, Calico Jack, must have wanted me to find this map, Captain. Look, X marks the treasure of Parrot Island. And I'm going to find it. But how do we find it? Hmm. We're looking for a parrot-shaped island. With a volcano on one side. And a little island with a palm tree on the other. Dashy? I'm already on it, Captain. I'm matching it to the maps on our computer. That's not it. No, not quite. Nope, that's definitely not it. No, that's, uh... What? Ah, she blows! Yeah, it is not far from here. Then let's explore the island and find the treasure. Quasi, sound the Octo Alert. Aye, aye, Captain. Octonauts to the launch bay. Octonauts, our mission is to find the treasure of Parrot Island and explore the... Let's go, Captain. All right. Peso, into the guppe with Quasi. Yes, Captain. According to the map, we should be coming up on some kind of green blob. I wonder what it could be. Algae, and lots of it. Yeah. Hmm. It's impossible to see where we're going now. Captain, look. <laughs> Ahoy there, mateys. I can clean this windscreen in no time. Thank you. Thanks, me hearty. No problem. Algae is my favourite snack. Well, matey, it's lucky for us that you like this scurvy muck. Ah, you sound like a pirate. Yeah, I am a pirate. I've always wanted to meet a real live pirate. My name's Parrotfish Pete. A parrotfish named Pete. Me grandfather Calico Jack had a parrot named Pete. Oh, Calico Jack, the famous pirate, was your grandfather. So you've heard of him? Aye, I'm a big fan of pirates. What be your name? I be Quasi. I could be your sidekick, Quasi, and his trusty sidekick, Pete the Parrotfish. Doesn't that sound great? Well, pirates usually have parrots as sidekicks, not parrotfish. Well, I've got a beak like a parrot, but I'm even better than a parrot. Look, I can change me colours. Wow. Yeah, parrots can't do that. That's true. Uh, and parrots won't clean the algae off your windscreen either. That certainly was a big help. All right then, but we're in a hurry to find some treasure, matey, so you'll have to keep up. Whoa, my first day is a trusty pirate sidekick, <laughs> and I get to search for treasure. <laughs> Let's go, Parrotfish Pete. What do you think these pointy things are? I wish I knew. I'll swim ahead and find out for you, mateys. Ahoy, mateys! Arr! This 
reef be full of sharp, jagged edges and narrow passageways. I think your ship is too big to fit through it. But according to the map, we have to go through it to find the treasure. Then we'll leave the gup here and swim the rest of the way. I wonder what these squiggly lines are. Are we going in there? What's that? And that! And that! Now we know what those squiggly lines on the map are. Eels! Aye! Moray eels! These waters are full of them, matey! And look at their sharp teeth. Ah! Oh, but we have to get past them to find the treasure. How are we going to do that? I can get us past them, me hearties. How? Moray eels like to eat parrotfish, but we have a way of protecting ourselves from them. Ah! First, I cover myself in a bubble. Ah! The eels can't see very well. And this bubble makes it so they can't smell me either. Which means they leave you alone. Very clever. That might be fine for you, but we can't make bubbles, me hearty. Oh, I'll make them for you. Octonauts, let's do this. Smell peso. Peso! This way. Quick, in there. Quasi, bubble block. It worked. They can't smell peso anymore. We're safe now. Phew. Pete, we never would have made it without your protective bubbles. Ah, it was nothing. Parrotfish Pete, any pirate will be proud to call you his sidekick. Ah, oh, thanks, Quasi. According to the map, Parrot Island should be right around here. Let's swim to the surface and look for it. Look, there's the volcano. And there's the little island with the palm tree. Yeah. But there's no Parrot Island anywhere. Maybe me grandfather's map was wrong. Avast! Uh, down here, mateys! Huh? Yow! Look at that! Wow! It's an underwater island. Aye, and Parrot Island is actually Parrot Fish Island. There's me grandfather's treasure! Huh? What's this key for? Oh, look! A keyhole! I'll try it, matey. <laughs> he hunted for treasure, he scratched for fleas. The bravest cat on the seven seas. Once he got going, he never turned back. And that's the truth about Calico Jack. He always had courage, he couldn't be beat when he set sail with his parent peas. Quasi, you found it. The last line of the song. Ha 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 ha! Aye, me hearty. Now that's a treasure for sure. How can I ever thank you, Pete? Ah, don't mention it. So, what do you say? You want to keep being me parrotfish sidekick? Ah, oh, well, it's been exciting being a sidekick, but now that we've found Parrotfish Island, I think I'd like to stay here with the other parrotfish. All right, me hearty, I understand. But how about your very own song to remember your pirate days by? A song about me? You don't have to worry when you get in trouble, cos Pete will protect you with his special bubble. As brave friends go, he can't be beat, and that's the story of Parrotfish Pete.